a rainy evening. A horde of people trying to stay dry under the shelter of the museum theater. Another group singing along. The mood, you say, was a romantic one. Inside, the group who called themselves the Strayers were oblivious to the rainy thunder outside, or the crowd, as they enthusiastically chatted why Alfred Hitchcock was their inspiration and a twist in the tale thereafter. Okay, so Marty, firstly, how does Stray Factory come around with this idea? Um, with this particular idea, Hitchcock, so um, we've been wanting to do a collaborative production, kind of involve people from uh, different areas of art. So we thought Hitchcock was a nice idea. We wanted to give the whole uh, old world feel and all of that. Uh, so we approached uh, a set designer um, who's in the US, an amateur set designer, but she wanted to showcase some work. Uh, so she uh, did some work. There's a graphic designer worked on the backdrop. Um, we met uh, like different, a bunch of us. The cast is from Bangalore, Pandi, Bombay, Coimbatore. Uh, so we've been rehearsing for a while, trying to accommodate everybody's uh, uh, vision along with uh, their uh, limitations. And that's what Stray Factory is about. I mean, we try to collaborate as much as we can, and this is a collaborative production. And hopefully, we'll have a good show. Someone who has that kind of universal appeal is Hitchcock, and then also mystery plays aren't done very often, and comedies are. But it'd be nice to showcase uh, uh, this, and I don't think Chennai has seen Hitchcock before, so I thought that might be a good thing to do. She was married to a gunfighter, wasn't she? Charlie Ryan. Then she's seen a lot of fights. Then what's all the big fuss about? We're both talking about me. About your husband? You leave Charlie out of this. He was a better man than the two of you put together. I hear tell that he killed seven people with a single shot. That's right. Seven people. But he had an even bigger story in front. Go ahead, pick up your fork. What's stopping you? Oh, not a thing! So about the three plays, uh, one of them is a western, uh, a so-called western. It's about two guys who are out to kill each other and uh, who will be the last man standing. And there's a little, pretty little innkeeper, it's caught in the middle of this fight. Uh, the, the another play is um, about two drunk men and uh, they take their, um, their hobby of murders to the next level. And um, again, so what, where, where do we draw the line between sanity and insanity in that? And uh, the, the other play is uh, about how they choose the right kind of house. And uh, there's a little twist inside that involves the house. So, uh, you want to add to that? We can't add any more to the endings because then the people won't come, so yeah. Yeah, and the famous twist at the end. There is the twist at the end, right? All right. Okay. Got to give this real significance. This is no trifling matter. Sandra, this chart here tells us a secret. This chart tells us that a murder committed without a motive or a motiveless killing is a hundred to one shot. Isn't that right, Charlie? It's all about trying to convince the audience. Whereas theatre is a whole new world. But so it's all about, and you only have one take to get it done. You either make it or you break in that one take. So you have this very limited space and very limited tools by which we can communicate several scenarios, three different plays with the same pieces. That's quite a challenge. Four months in preparation, endless hours of traveling back and forth. Many disparities later, the group debuted their first performance to a standing ovation. No doubt then, why it rained. A bunch of friends struck upon an idea and the result of that was Stray Factory. A relatively new theatre group in Chennai with two innovative productions to their credit. We caught up with the team and all we can say is they know exactly how to make work fun. I guess a lot of uh, 
a lot of us friends who have uh, who have done uh, uh, creative uh, creative creatively contributed earlier even some of us in theater some in designing some in music we figured we could push the barrier in team in terms of entertainment uh, so that was our first first objective that we got got us talking into taking uh, stay factory as a concept forward Stray Factory's first project was Hitchcock, a selection of three short plays loosely based on the popular series from the 50s, Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Their second venture was a result of a brainstorming session that led them to realize that blogs had immense potential to be adapted into performances. Hence, they invited bloggers from everywhere and from the shortlisted 30 bloggers and a list of 1012 posts, 15 posts were finally selected. After designing on the kind of blogs, we had been through it. So obviously, when you're directing something, you'll have a mental image of what your cast would like to be, or what is it that you expect them. And um, all the three directors we sat down and said that okay, these are the kind of people that we like to have. So we all realized that somewhere we have to go and find actors rather than you know them coming and finding us. So that's where we started a little bit of scouting. The other thing was that we wanted to hold some kind of reading sessions to see whether people will be you know they'll fit the bill. So then we found the actors, and uh, I guess, or maybe the blogs found the actors. Stray Factory's mission is not only to stage their own productions, but support all creative efforts. And what with a discerning Chennai audience to cater to, their priority is to deliver fine performances. They will continue to entertain Chennai all the way. What kind of magic they create on stage with their next performance is for us to wait and see. March 27th was a very special day for theatre enthusiasts the world over. Celebrated every year since the inception in 1948 by UNESCO, theatre performers and theatre groups celebrate their freedom to express and entertain people and unite us all. Chennai was not far behind in making the day special, so here's a look at how the grand day turned out. Now, what does theatre mean to you? Well, who better to ask then? Theatre means a lot of things, I think, all together. But um, I suppose it is what you are. Basically, trying to make a difference in each other's lives. An extension of life. If I'm watching, it's entertainment. If I'm doing it, it's for entertainment. To entertain. All the world's a stage. Oscar Wilde famously regarded theatre as the greatest of all forms, the most immediate way in which a human being. can share with another the sense of what it is to be a human being museum theater was a buzz with theater buffs as they had all come to watch eight of chennai's most beloved theater groups and all eight featured a variety of characters that mimicked life or well almost This was uh, actually a, a very very sudden uh, thing that happened. Uh, it was just hardly a, a week and a half ago that uh, Mathi from uh, Stray, Stray Factory contacted me and said that uh, his show had gotten uh, postponed for some for some reasons. So basically, he had the venue available with him, and uh, he contacted me and we sat together and thought it through and, and said, Hey, why don't we, uh, on the occasion of World Theatre Day, why don't we kind of invite all the groups to perform on the same stage and basically celebrate the whole. idea of world theater day The evening was hosted by funny man Freddy Koykaran and Stray Factory's Mathi Vanan a duo that not only got their acts together for the evening but sure had the audience in splits with their camaraderie everybody in the green room these are people that you watch you can you know, talk to them after a show and all that but to actually see how they work backstage it's a wonderful opportunity for you know for youngsters like uh, to just come up and you know kind of interact with them and find out how they prepare for a show and how they finally execute it so uh, it's in that sense it's very exciting from mythological to the outright slapstick comedy it was all there on stage Also for the first time the evening had dance groups turn up the heat with their swinging numbers and flash mob performance a worldwide trend in this year's world theater day celebration 
I'm sure you're thinking if you'll get to see this again, right? Well, yes, you will because Freddie and Marty promised to bring more such collaborations on the stage.